Morning, my lovelies. Uh, I know this is really early for us, but I thought I'd take you through exactly how you get into the uh, Festival Quilts. Uh, I'm looking a little, little bit oh, bleary-eyed today because uh, it was a long old day yesterday, but um, we just got to the NEC and we are going down. So we're in halls, the Festival Quilts in halls 7, 8 and 9, okay? Um, sorry, it's a bit jerky because I'm obviously walking, but I thought I'd take you through the whole thing as we go through. Um, so we've just done, gone through our security checks again, made sure they were all negative and everything. Uh, I'm going to flip you around because you can see our Sarah and our Sean just there. They're up just ahead of me. And I thought, there you go, she's waving away. <laughs> um, so this is where we're going to go in now. There's still quite, there's a few people already arriving. So show doesn't open until half past nine and obviously you can get like um, slots and all to come. But... Uh, as exhibitors, obviously, we're going in slightly early. Um, so we're going to go in here. So we've just got a few bits left to sort out. So what I thought I'd do is uh, flash the security guard, take you through. So this is into you Hall 9. Well, I, did, I didn't flash the security guard anything naughty. I flashed him a badge. <laughs> Hi, ladies. Hello, hello. So this is Hall 9, which is we are, where Sean's heading towards our stand now, just over there. This is what I showed you yesterday. You can see it's already starting to look a little bit different. But what I thought I'd do today is take you through to the other hall. Uh, while it's quiet and there's nobody about, um, I thought I'd take you round. So, hi Maria, Hope you, hopefully you're well. Um, so this is Hall 9 where we are, which is the bit I showed you yesterday. We are up early, Jenny, yeah. <laughs> well, the show starts at 9.30, but we've still got a little bit of tweaking and all to do. This is the little connecting hall. And you can see you've got like nice little stands here, which got some beautiful quilts on display. Um, and turn you this way. Morning, Linda. Hi, Andy. There we go. So got uh, all sorts of lovely little things all the way down here. Got lots of, oh, look at all those lovely, lovely little miniature quilts. Those are gorgeous, aren't they? Oh, I love a little miniature and they're pretty. Here we go, so, but give us a shout ladies if there's anything you want to see, but what I thought I'd do is take you around some of the quilts um, before everybody gets here so I can actually show you them properly. So this is the other hall, okay, which, hi Claire, um, which has got like lots and lots of uh, stands in it, but this will also have some of the quilts as well. So as you can see, it's really big. Let me take you this way and show you some of that over there got the the guild here right and then this is uh 20 on 20 we challenged our members to make a 20 inch quilt with 20 squares worked into the design so hi uh hi sandra i'm at festival quilts uh we've got a stand here so i thought um i'd do a little live i know it's mega early in the morning hi tracy hi claire hi kate um take you through some of these and then i wanted to take you through should we do the calf facet quilts should we do the calf facet quilt? So we've got fabrics galore over there. There's quite a few stands in here. Um, but let's have a look at that. Look, this is the little calf facet exhibition. And let you see these. Okay. So, wow, there's lots and lots of little tiny quarter square triangles on that one. And I thought I'd take you around these. If you're a calf facet lover, you're going to love these. So these are all using Cafacet fabrics, but they're not made by him. So I love the way they fussy cut this one. This one is called, and I'll try and give you this bit, uh, Garden Flowers, and the maker is Julie Harvey. So I really like the way they fussy cut all his big flowers, because they're quite big patterns, aren't they? It's really, really simple, but how effective is that one? There we go. Um, it's another one by Julie Harvey. And down this way, like that, that's beautiful. I like the way they've used a really big square in the centre on, on here to really showcase those fabrics. And then that one there, so really lovely. And then what we're going to do is I'm going to take you down this way. Um, oh, there we go, how beautiful is that? It's called the Rose Window. Isn't that beautiful? Looks like stained glass. Um, but yeah, I thought I'd take you down this way and show you some of the bits and pieces. I actually can't, don't know where all the quilts are. I haven't even got to that bit yet. You can see I'm still going. <laughs> hi, Hilary. Hi, Helen. Hi, Sandy. So look at this. Isn't this amazing? It's all quilted. Look at that. 
Isn't that wonderful? Um, just trying to find out where the name and all of that one is. So, but give us a shout, ladies, if there's anything you want to see. Um, I'm going to show you this. Oh my God, look at this dress. I would love to be able to make something like that. It's all made out of hexes. Look at that little strappy dress. There we go. Hi, Freddie. I know, Linda, that's a bit wow, that, uh, that um, horse, isn't it, with the cut um, and all on there. So I'm trying to find all... Ah, I can see all the quilts. They're all down there. <laughs> so, um, oh, they've already announced the novice category winner, which is this one here. So this might be a bit dull because it's just me chattering away, talking rubbish at you. But I thought I'd just show you some of the quilts so that you guys get a little taste. Look behind the dress. What was behind the dress? I didn't see that. Oh, what was that, Claire? Um, and this was called... It was by Nicola Rollo from Newbury in the UK. Isn't that beautiful? Really, really lovely. So, oh, I'm not sure if I was supposed to have shown you that one, guys. <laughs> they're just covering them up. It says they're going to be revealed at 2 p.m. today. Oops, <laughs> don't tell anyone. <laughs> so, I'm going to keep walking. Uh, you've got Bombay stores there. You've got Benina stand, that side. Okay, I'm going to take you right the way down. All the quilts are right at the front, which is just typical, isn't it? <laughs> so it's a hell of a long walk, as you can see. It's lots and lots going on. You've got Janome over there. That side, you've got all like Brother and Juki. All different types of threads. Wonderful, which are all threads and stuff. Uh, you've got beading. All sorts of beautiful, beautiful things. Oh, I've seen a quilt over there I quite like, actually. Yeah, oops. <laughs> oops, Claire. I probably shouldn't have told, showed you that one. I didn't realise they were covering them up. <laughs> There's um, a fine art um, little display in there, which we'll, I'll show you maybe tomorrow. Um, this is the message for all exhibitors. Where should we go? These chimes. Oh. Sorry, you probably can't hear me over the announcements we'll now. receive all NEC emergency messages. Okay, so this all one. Exhibitors Remember we did requested. that um, twisted ribbon border on the 1pm? This is using the twisted ribbon border as a quilt. Look at that, how beautiful that is. So that's by, it's called Take a Walk on the Wild Side. There we go. Please raise any concerns with security staff. Who was that? Benina stand. Who said they wanted to see the Benina stand? Sorry, I missed that, ladies. Um, sorry, I can talk to you now because the announcement's uh, finished. That's a friendship quilt. So this is made by um, more than one person. Um, but how beautiful is that? The work on that is exquisite. Look at the quilting. Attention, Let's see. please. Oh, I always it manage to do it when the announcements are on. There we go. So we can see please some of these down here. I know, Helen, that twisted ribbon one's amazing, isn't it? Really, really pretty. Laptop, computers. There we go. Plasma screens. I love that as well, actually. How cute is that? Items really, really pretty. You've got, Thank you. they've um, machine quilted some of it and then hand quilted around the circles. That's really, really pretty, isn't it? Really effective, very, very simple to do. Look, you can see they've done like little sort of like nine patches. And then, but when it, it comes this really beautiful sort of joined up pattern, like that. There we go, there's another one there. Again, the quilting on some of these is unbelievable. I mean, look at the detail in the quilting on that, ladies. Yeah, we could do a friendship quilt, couldn't we? We could all, that's a really nice idea, Claire. Maybe I'll, I'll sort that out. Um, we could do a little, um, everybody could do a block and we could put it all together. We could maybe enter it into Malvern, maybe in uh, spring next year. There we go, so I'm gonna take you down these ones, just so you're getting a little taste of what the uh, quilts are. That's very dramatic, isn't it? Isn't that amazing? I love, you know, I like an illusion block, ladies. Look at that one. That's amazing. It looks like an Escher painting, doesn't it? You know, when you go up and down the stairs and nothing quite works properly. That's so, so clever. Absolutely love the 3D effect of that one. That's made by, um, there we go. It's called Bamboozled and it's a two person one. So it's done by two people. It doesn't say their names, I don't think. But how clever is that? The Escher image, yeah, I love it. I love um, him as an artist. I think they're so, so clever. Really surreal, but really clever. Um, quite a traditional looking one there. 
right next to a really eye-catching modern one. So, I mean, there's lots and lots of quilts here. I'm probably not going to be able to show you every all of them, but I will try and give you a little taste of some of them. Really beautiful, sort of like duck egg blue, like odeneal y type. That French, um, what's that French fabric called with the, oh, there's a name for it, isn't there? I can't remember what it is, but isn't that lovely? Really traditional, but I love the cool colour tones in that one. And then I'm sorry, I'm going to swing you round. And that, <laughs> this is patience, ladies. This is patience. Look at that. Look how tiny. Those, there's my finger there. Look how tiny those are. What are they? Little one inch hexes. And then it's all been appliqued on top. That would all be hand done. And that's by, made by a lady called, oh, hang on. Let me just get around there. Oh, I can't pronounce her name. <laughs> so, more little tiny hexes, bright and colourful. Oh, and clamshells. Look at those tiny, tiny little clamshells. Can you see how small they are? Those are amazing. That's it. <laughs> That's it, Carol. <laughs> I can never say it. Toile, uh, toile de Jolie, Julie, something like that. Um, a little bit of a whole cloth one. Really, really, you know, all in whites. Looks like it's sort of, oh, look at this. It's all like traditional lace and all that's been put in there. Look, it's all like lace pieces that have been appliqued all on and oh, crocheted doilies and stuff. Isn't that beautiful? Yeah, these are amazing, aren't they? absolutely amazing so i'm going to do a little bit of a walk down this one and then i'll go back down the aisle and then i'll take you back through the other side of the hall but i'll try and take some more photos or maybe do some little videos maybe tomorrow or saturday or sunday um, and show you as much as i can okay so i'm going to come along the side like this and then you can see there's lots lots more but i'm very aware that of time <laughs> a lot of time um I've got to get the stand finished ready, so I'm going to come down this side for you, ladies. That's really pretty. Nice take on a um, Dresden with that extra piece of fabric put into it. So you've got like skinny Dresden, so it's put together like a Dresden, but you, it looks more uh, more open, doesn't it? And some butterflies. That's all right. Uh oh, you're, my pleasure, Annette. It's uh, Oh, and you, Carol. Yeah, lovely. <laughs> I really don't mind doing this. It's I love see it looking at the quilts as well. And I know a lot of you would have liked to have come to a festival, but I haven't been able to. So it's just a nice way of seeing some of the quilts. I love that. Isn't that amazing? That's so effective. No. Let's have a little look, closer look at it. <gasps> look at all these tiny, tiny little pieces in it. Loads and loads of little, little tiny pieces. I mean, look at the... You can see, there's my little finger. Look how tiny those pieces are. But when you pull out, look how amazing that looks. The illusion, you know, stunning. Love that. Um, okay, so what I'm going to do, I'll do the other half, either later or tomorrow for you, okay? So I'm going to take you back down the other side of the hall so you can see some of the um, other exhibitors that are here. So we've got a big brother stand here. We've got a company called Dots and Stripes here on the end. I know they're stunning, aren't they? Really, really cool. I like that Dresden too. I'm a, well, maybe have a play with that on a one o'clock. Maybe look at um, how you can uh, play around with that. So what have we got? We've got fabric time here. Um, all sorts of bits and pieces going on. Sewing Sanctuary. Hello, how are you? You well? Mm -hmm. Good, good. So Sewing Sanctuary are lovely. They do, um, she does a, designs a lot of her own fabric, but they do the most amazing like um, laminated cottons as well. So you can make, um, yeah, a whole age of laminated cottons, um, like little raincoats and stuff. They're all sort of like waterproof for bags and stuff. Pardon? Oh, wow. That's lovely. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So, uh, hello, lovely. How are you? You well? Cool. So I'm just doing a Facebook live for everybody. So, uh, so yeah. Um, yeah, a little tour. We've just done the quilts. We're going to go that way now. <laughs> See you later. So we've got more sort of like um, sewing machines, the Horn Company and all, down this side. Um, crafty Quilter on this side. And Rosenberg, if you want some of your... I tend to buy a lot of uh, dressmaking fabrics from him. <laughs> and then never do anything with them. Here's our lovely Andy and Joe here. It's Crafty UK. I'm live to all my ladies. I was just, I was just live a minute ago. Ah, oh, there we go. Live together. <laughs> 
<laughs> so Andy's here with all his templates. You remember he did a uh, one o'clock with us. Um, so, uh, Come and have a go. Oh. And a trolley token and you can win a free <gasps> Wow, there you go, ladies. So if you are coming, make sure you come and see Andy and say hello. And uh, sorry, you have to go to work. Ah, oh, bye, Freddie. See you soon. <laughs> If only I could camp in the car park. I think you can. I think there is camping on site. Um, Crafty UK are with Bigger Stitches this time. They're sharing a stand. So um, they're going to be there. So, <laughs> hi. And then we're going to go down this way. They're right opposite Cotton Orchard. We used to have one of the, um, the wooden frames, actually, but we upgraded it. So um, who else have we got down here? Sorry, I'm still going. Sorry, you just have to put up with me chattering away, ladies. Uh, we've got another... Another little like textile piece in here. I'm going to go round this side just so you can see down there. There's a cafe and all sorts going on. We missed out loads of stands. And then I'm going to plow my way down here. Okay, I'm going to get back to the stand now. So it's going to go a bit quicker. <laughs> um, yes, I'll have a little go with that, Dresden. Claire, absolutely. Yeah, definitely. Um, so we've got all quilting with Liberty Fabrics. I'll take you around that another day. And we've got monkey buttons down this side, got ceramics, lily fabrics, pin flare here, got lots and lots of passion for quilting over there, paint box threads are on this end, hi, <laughs> um, oak shop which is my guilty pleasure is oak shop fabrics, every time I come to festival I end up buying, <laughs> I end up buying lots, you might have seen me do them in the 1pm uh, lives, pardon, oh lovely lovely, oh, Ladies, you might have seen, um, I use it quite often in the lives. It's that lovely shot fabric, oh. and this is where I buy it from. Look, they're so delicious. I, I think I was working with these last time I used them. I am getting my steps in today, Claire, absolutely. Yeah, Jen, there is a lot more space. They've widened all the aisles um, and made it much, much bigger, so it's a lot, lot safer. And We've all been tested and everything. It's, it's actually doing really, really well. So um, I'm, I'm quite impressed about how they've set it all up. Um, and then I'm going to come down this way. So we've got purple stitches and all over there, quilted bear, quilt sandwich. They're great if you want um, 108s. They do a lot of backing fabrics and all. So uh, so they're all, and they always do lots and lots of beautiful um, boutiques and things. Um, who else have we got down here? Sherwood fabric. And then I'm hoping the Higgs and Hicks is around here because they are one of my favouritest people ever. I love Higgs and Hicks fabrics. Um, when we do the quilt retreat, we're not far from Higgs and Higgs, so I'm hoping that we'll be able to do a little visit to their, their shop, their warehouse. And they just do the most beautiful, beautiful, beautiful fabrics. They're very, very me. They do jerseys and all as well, but they always do really like, unusual, different neutrals and things. I mean, I just want that bundle. I need that bundle. <laughs> um, but yeah, one of my favorites. But if you're coming on the quilt retreat, it's literally about 10 minutes from their warehouse, so um, I'm going to speak to them and see if we can get a little um, little trip in there to Higgs and Higgs. Um, and then we've got Orofil there, a few little ones down there, and then we're going to go back up through Fabrics Galore on the end, which I showed you earlier. And then we're going to go back up through here. And I really need to get to the stand now. <laughs> really need to get to the stand. <laughs> so... You love the blue, Susie. I know. There's been some stunning, stunning fabrics. Oh, I really, I don't need any more fabric. I'm not allowed to buy anything, okay? I'm, I'm saying that out loud. I'm not allowed to buy anything. I've got enough. I don't need more fabric. I can't imagine I'm actually going to stick to that, though, ladies. <laughs> and then when we come down through this section, you've got Quilters Trading Post. This is where there's the gin and fizz bar on the end that we were, and this is back to us some of these beautiful beautiful things okay, a little bit of jewelry and stuff and then back to grace frame there we've got rowan dean embroidery that side which to it heard makes on the end there and then you've got the grace frames with jmb sewing and we're back to our stand and there we go so hopefully we'll see the girls but putting all the signage up say hello there we go. So that's a big, very quick whiz round the whole thing. We can see now the stand's all set up. We've just got to get our, our lights up in on. And a, oh, what? Well, uh, oh, it's been. No, oh, one of our lights isn't working. That's really annoying. 
Yeah, bring Jean and lights if you come. <laughs> Stan looks amazing, thanks. Glad you're not here, you'd be bankrupt. Yeah, I might be as well. <laughs> Anyway, I'm going to go now, ladies. Um, I might try and do a little something at one o'clock if we get chance. Um, if not, I will um, send more pictures and all when I can. So have a lovely, lovely day. And I'll see you soon. Bye. Say bye, Lou. Bye, girls. Bye. <laughs>